the conquering hero. Make way for the gold medalist. Yeah. Daddy, it's no big deal. It's just another track meet. Hey, no red carpet? You only won four in a row. Five. Excuse me? Well, actually, it was six. You were the fastest crawler in preschool. <laughs> Alexandria, did you see when I crossed the finish line? The entire team picked me up and carried me across the field. Must have been quite a load to you and your ego. <laughs> You know, if I were you, I'd sleep with my eyes open tonight. Hi. Hi, you're a little late, aren't you? No, I told you she was going to help decorate the auditorium for the school dance Friday night. All right. How's it look? Great. Mom, can I help with dinner? It's already in the oven. Oh. Well, um, can I vacuum or dust or anything? All right. What are you softening us up for? OK, I was being immature. I know how thoughtful and understanding you two are as parents. Uh-oh. This is the big one. <laughs> Lay it on us. Can I go to the dance with Paula and Diane and Calvin and Kathy? And uh -oh. <laughs> Back up. How far? To Calvin. <laughs> well, I sort of ran into him at the library, and he sort of asked me to go to the dance. And you agreed to go out with him? Well, sort of. But you are going as a group. And coming home as a group. Well, sort, sort of. <laughs> How come I had to eat a TV dinner? <laughs> because, dear, I have something to talk over with your father alone. I'm not getting a little brother or sister, am I? <laughs> No, Brenda, you don't have to give up your room. <laughs> what are you doing? Oiling my skate. What you gonna do, roll around the room? No, Calvin's taking me skating. On a school night? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. He's taking me tomorrow. Uh, and when were you going to ask permission? On Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. I was gonna ask you tonight. Hi, Mrs. Jenkins. Oh, hi, Calvin. Hey, Brand, you ready to go? Uh, go? Go where? To the skating rink. <laughs> um, Calvin, you must be mistaken. We're supposed to go tomorrow night, right? Tomorrow? Well, why did you just tell me to hurry up and get my skates? <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like we're home. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, I sure had a good time. Yeah, me too. I guess I better be going, huh? Brenda? Yeah? About a kiss goodnight. Darrell, I had a nice time, but I think we ought to wait on the kiss. <laughs> sure. How long? <laughs> Until we both feel it's right. Right. I guess that won't be tonight, huh? I understand. Night. Good night. Mom, you can come out now. Hi. You're home, huh? I bet it looked like I was, um... Fine? <laughs> Actually, I was, um... Spying. That's okay, Mom. He comes with the territory. Oh. <laughs> Good night, Miss Clark. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Hey, Brian. Well, how was the concert? It was great. Calvin, you would have loved it. Miss Clark's friend took us backstage, and we met Mixmaster Michael. All right. He gave me an autographed album, and he sent one for you guys, too. Wow. He great. sang all of his hits. Did he do Vicious Lover? Rap it on the rebound? Yeah. Did he do Bust Your Face? Yes! <laughs> Bust Your Face? <laughs> yeah, you heard it. I'm the rapping king, and I'm number one. I'm the best in the business, and I'm having big fun. When it comes to rapping, I'm the number one ace. And if you call me a liar, I'll, I'll bust your face. <laughs> Brenda, you'll never guess who's around the corner at the record store signing autographs. Who? <laughs> Who? Brittany Houston. Come on, she's only gonna be around there for about 20 minutes. Well, what about Alberta? Oh, we can't take her. <laughs> She'll be all over the place. Well, then, Calvin, can you watch her? She's your responsibility, too. No way, I gotta get back. 
Calvin, if you go, I'll never speak to you again. Sir. <laughs> well, then I'll tell everybody you used to wear my dresses. Wear your dresses? I've never worn your dresses. Well, I'll tell them anyway. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, the envelope, please. The deer hunter. <laughs> now the prince will walk around the bride three times, which makes this marriage official. That's one ringy-dingy. <laughs> Mary Brenda's holding up pretty good. She's just waiting for us to cave in. <laughs> Two ringy-dingy. <laughs> one more time around and I'll be a princess. I'm gonna put a stop to this right now. Relax, honey. It's Calvin, remember? Any minute now, she'll be begging our forgiveness. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. Calvin! Calvin! But you just married Brenda! I am afraid not. You! <laughs> Hi, Dad. I can't be married. My parents set the whole thing up. You mean you knew? I overheard you talking in the kitchen and I knew the wedding was fake. Sorry. This was an authentic ceremony. We are now man and wife. Like hell you are. Daddy, you tell him, Danny, I don't want to be married. I don't want to go to Loma Loma. I don't want to go to Europe. I don't want to leave this living room. You should have thought of that before, Brenda. My intentions were honorable. Yours were self-serving. Mom! Oh, I think you have more to say than that. The prince is right, you know. You brought this on yourself. Man, whose side are you on? No, Mom is right. I may not be ready to make all my own decisions, but I know I owe everybody an apology, especially you, Prince Lionel. I accept your apology. You better do better than that. You better divorce her. I had every intention of doing so. Mm, another five minutes, you could have had community property. <laughs> do we need lawyers? No, just feet. All I have to do is walk around Brenda three times the opposite way. Well, start trekking, child. <laughs> Brenda, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I was invited. Well, you're making a fool out of yourself. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I know why you're here. You're trying to prove something you're not even ready to prove. What? Well, you don't have to prove it. Not to me or anybody else I know. You're too young to understand. I'm old enough to understand I like the Calvin Dobbs I knew yesterday. This one's just dumb. You and Sandra. Give me a break. It's embarrassing. <laughs> you can't talk to me like that. I can, too. I'm not even old enough to date yet, and I care more about you than she ever will. You're my... You're my best friend. Friend. Don't you see what you're doing? You're upsetting my mom, and you're gonna hurt your grandma. And you're hurting me. What are you doing? I'm crying. You really are dumb. <laughs> Brenda. Shut up. Don't cry. Look, come on over here. Let me dry those tears. Daddy! I'm sorry. Just when I left this morning, you were 14, and now you look 24. I have to grow up sometime. Yeah, but so fast? Couldn't you kind of ease into it? <laughs> Say maybe a year at a time? Is anybody gonna tell me what happened? They played a stirring rendition of Pomp and Circumstance. But she refused to take her diploma. Brenda, what happened? Now, don't be mad at her. But, Mama... Now, Mary, you should be very proud. Took a lot of guts. She's a real Hurley. She's a Jinkus, right, Milton? That's right. Mom, I couldn't accept my diploma because I knew how much it meant for you to be there. I know, honey, but... And even more important, Mom, I wanted you there. 
Uh, I used my influence. I went to the principal, Mr. Cromwell, reminded him who I was, and, uh, Mr. Jenkins, come on down! Hey, right, look who's here. Principal Cromwell. Well, Mrs. Jenkins, this is a bit unusual, holding a graduation in a hospital. But, uh, what's his name made such an impassioned appeal? <laughs> you helped out so much at school, how could I say no? Ready, Brenda? Go get him, Brenda. And now, Brenda Jenkins, it is my pleasure as principal of Waverly High School to bestow on you a 1990 diploma with honors. Brenda Marie Jenkins. All right! Oh, honey, it seems like just yesterday you were yelling and screaming and keeping us up all night. And now my baby's all grown up. Almost. You did us all proud. I couldn't have done it without you, Mom. Oh.